Now, I'm going to ask you very politely, calmly, and nicely to get out of bed! <laughs>
as you can see, gear's out behind me. So we're off on another trip. Yeah! Right, so I'm off down the River Ant, which is at the back of the Stullum Stafe, but not actually on the Stafe, it's on the other side. I suppose if you're on that side of the Stafe, then it is, but I'm going to be on the other side where you see all the deers and stuff in the fields on me. That's if I can get there, that is, because it's very, very muddy at the moment. Went up there this morning and done a little reggae and sort of worked out where I was going to go. I got stuck twice. So, fingers crossed I'm not going to. <laughs> so, going to do the short trip from my house down to where it is. Call that sun's bright. Reminded me. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm going to whip down to Roxham, get some bait, get a few bits that I need, the old tackle box. And then we'll head back towards the river. We'll get set up. So I'll see you soon. Really glad to be getting out. It's been a little while. But I've been doing a hell of a lot of work behind the scenes. As a lot of you probably know. I've been speaking to you. And so I'm talking about how I'm going to take the channel forward. I've set up uh, memberships now. So if you're interested in joining the memberships getting some of the perks and supporting the channel you can see the join button if you go on PC or if you go in the description below there's also a join button we're also going to be doing a Patreon account and we're also halfway through setting up uh, our own merch website so we've got a lot going on <sighs> and not enough time in the day to do it <laughs> thing I'm going to be doing on the channel is each time I get a few members I'm going to shout out someone's name in each video. I'm going to pick one person and I'm going to shout them out in the video until everyone's had their turn. And this video is going to be a shout out for Andy Lake. Yay! Thank you very much Andy Lake. Whee! So yeah, really appreciate the support. Thank you very much. And thanks for talking to me in the background and stuff as well regarding all sorts of things about the channel. And, telling me where you've been fishing and what you've caught and stuff like that. Andy's from um, Kings Lynn and hopefully I'll get up there at some point and I'll do a session with you. So thanks very much again for supporting the channel and hopefully I'll see you at some point soon. Thank you. So we're in Roxham. Just going to pop through the centre here, turn left. At the McDonald's Junction, and we'll go in and get some bait. I think I might even treat myself to a new keep net. Have they got anything nice in stock? So we'll have to see. As you can see, right in front of us, once this car's out of the way, that's where I'm going in, England Direct. Then a the road here somewhere and park up, and I'll see what I can find. Picked up some bits and pieces. I'll show you when we get on the bank what I actually got. We'll run through the baits and bits and pieces that I bought. Also bought a top section of a landing net because my one got broken. Right, so I've got about a 15 20 minute drive now down to where I'm going to fish. I'll bring you back in, we'll get some gear out. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Yeah! Road down the river until we can catch. Oh, so, been in 
from Tesco. It's got pepperami, <laughs> BLT, bottle of Lucasade. So that should keep us going for a little bit. Also got some other drinks, some crisps and that in my box anyway. So let's get over to the river. Try and get through all the mud and that. So I'll go through some nasty mud and I got stuck out there this morning when I was checking out the place. But let's see how we get on. And let's get set up. Okay, so we're nearly there. It's literally just up here on the right. Hoping the weather's going to calm down a bit. It's meant to. It's been really bad today. It's been like sunny, then really rainy. Mega winds, and I mean mega winds, 30, 40 mile an hour. Pretty rough. Oh, it's meant to settle down a little bit for this evening so fingers crossed our session won't be too bad but if that's windy it's windy we can deal with that it's looking like it's still a bit windy on the flags and stuff but i don't think it's as bad as it was this morning when i checked it all out we'll find out in a second won't we right so we're going in the gate many of you might know this place from coming up here and renting a boat out on, on holiday and stuff like that I'll drop in some bits in the video in various different places to let people see around the stafe and what's going on around here what, what, you know, places you can fish and some of the boats and bits and pieces in different parts of the actual stafe there's all sorts of different sort of channels to it. But where we're going today is down here on the left. We're going to go past Lapwing Key. Cool, the water's up really high, started right onto the path there. And we've got the dodgy bit when we get up here because we've got to get round the back of these buildings up here. And that's very, very muddy. And if you just slightly go wrong, go too slow, you just end up getting bogged down and I could be stuck there for the night, which is <laughs> not good. So let's carry on through here, take the old seatbelt off, get this, get this planned and hopefully this is all going to go well <laughs> and we're not going to get stuck. I certainly did my best fish and not get stuck. <laughs> you can probably see already here that the ground's muddy. That'll be ten times worse when I turn this corner. Yeah, we just gotta go for it basically. You can probably hear the cars spinning like mad. You just have to get some serious speed up and just get through the nasty bits like this bit here. If you don't do it there you're, you're literally gonna be staying there. Before, really, but I ain't got four before, so we just gotta keep going the best we can. We're nearly there. Come on, girl. Come on. Yep, yep, we're there. I had to give it a few revs and stuff, but we made it. That'll do me. Right, I'm gonna get some gear out. Well, hell, that was a bit challenging the old drive through there. I've made some holes in the grass and stuff, but hopefully, I'll still be able to get out. I've got to do a Yui here as well on, a, on the way out, so could be a bit dodgy, but right. It's looking like it's still quite windy, so we'll jump out, we'll have a look, I'll show you around quickly, and then we'll get some gear out. So that was what we had to come through on the way here. Sloshy, lovely stuff. <laughs> got to get back through that later on in the dark, it's going to be fun. Look at the state of my car. All mud up it. Yucky, 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 but we made it and that's the main thing. So we're going to be fishing here. Not quite sure what part yet. Might fish down to the other side of here. Or I might go down to that corner down there and see if I can gather the wind a bit. Let's have a little wander and see if we can gather the wind. I'll put my mics and stuff on in a minute. So that will cancel out all this wind as soon as it gets set up. Just got to work where we're going to actually fish. I'm just thinking if I come down this end, I might get out of the wind a bit more. 
the field and I got already. I've actually just cut on the wind just coming down here, so that's good. Maybe I should drive to this end. So we're sort of down there, just down there behind that bush. But here's looking good. Got no wind here because all these trees and stuff are. Oh, you can see it's still a bit windy, but these trees are stopping most of it. So I think we'll come down here. We'll have a go down here with the float close in on the slack of water. And we'll whack a feeder out there in the middle and see if we can get a swim going. We'll work out from there. We're going to fish in the dark. Got a bird down there fishing. I don't know where you can see that. Keep going under and coming up with small rudd and roach and stuff like that. There's obviously a few fish about. That's good. Right, so I'm going to get back to the car and get some gear out before I get dark. Got my suit on, got my gear out, under my rod bag. A uh, little mouse ran out of it and jumped down my skin. <laughs> little buggers, chew up everything. Gonna be a bit chilly tonight, I think, so I've got my old suit on. It's already down to seven, I think, and it's gonna get lower later, so. Gonna make sure I'm all suited up and nice and warm. A hefty wind coming through, but I think it's going to be all right. Right, so I've set up the old float rod. I've got a midi float on, which is a four swan shot, and I had a couple of practice casts after getting the death from that. Right, Mr. Perch straight away. Yeah, <laughs> good start. Isn't it? Didn't even start filming, really. I was just Having a couple of practice casts just to get everything all set up as you do. Straight into a half decent perch. That's what I like to see. Excellent. So let's hope I carry on like that. I obviously want to set up a feeder rod as well, but I think I'll have a couple of casts with this just to see how we get on. So this is what we've got so far. Sloppy old mix. Smells lovely though. Gotta mix it all in. So obviously it's too runny at the moment. Basically it goes like mud. And that's what the bottom dog out there, so. Exactly what we want to mimic, let's say. Put a nice bed down. There's only a small amount to start with. Another nice boat going past in the background. That's basically what we got. And that'll ball up, it's a bit liquidy at the moment. But if I give that 10-15 minutes, that'll ball up lovely. It smells good, it smells like manila. And we'll basically go from there. Right, so let's get this off your hands. We'll add some liquid in there as well, because we didn't put the old molasses in, did we? Let that soak in a bit as well. And then we'll start feeding the swim. Seeing what we can get on our baits. So we'll mix that in and bring it back 
once we're out there fishing. Been setting the old net up, bought myself a nice little drenning landing net. As you can see, I think it was uh, about 25 pound. The other one that I had, I can get the end off. <laughs> Got snapped off here and in there. Wasn't this make, so I thought I'd buy an even better one. Let's see how we get on with that. So we better get the tag off. Put them in the bin. Get this on the end of the pole and let's have a cast. Right, so let's have a few casts and see what's about. Could even be something on here, no. They haven't had a bite. As you can see, my maggots were chewed up. To be very careful with this grid stuff down in front of me because the float goes in it and snaps the tip off which has already happened to me which I weren't too impressed with alright let's get some maggots on see what we can find I thought I'd come down here in the dark and just see if the fishing is different hopefully we'll find some bream later on I'll get some of this ground back in in a minute We'll try on this float, and if we can't do nothing with that, then we'll put the old feeder out. We might just put it out anyway. I really want the rod sitting out like that, but that's the best I can do right this minute. I haven't gone straight under anyway, but it? Oh, <laughs> lost it. <laughs> That's Jay. Float moved lots of it as well. Took all three of them maggots. Which one's sliding? Or have we lost a weight? I'm not sure. What's happened now? I think I lost a, well, I lost a weight. Let's put one back on and see what happened. Whatever just took out just then though, took three maggots. So there's obviously something a bit bigger down there. Just make sure it's still floating probably. It's about three foot too high there for some reason. Put it out a bit further. <laughs> well, because that, it's going on here. Let's let it settle and see if it settles how it should. And that's disappeared. Mm, sort of. It needs to be a little bit higher than that, I think. Change one of them weights for a smaller one. Ones we ain't going to see the boats probably. Oh, that's a good idea if I put the float in the bucket each time. I won't snap me float off in the little grids in front of me. Alright, so I'll change this SSG for a BB, I think. Hopefully. That'll do the trick and we'll be able to get back out there fishing. Definitely getting a few bites. All I've done so far is chucked out two or three handfuls of maggots. That's obviously brought a few fish in. Let's see how this sits. Okay, we're looking good, I think. Get some bait back on. And let's see what we can get. I have to remember that, put the old float in the bait bucket. Shut some of this up because it's obviously going to get damp now. Be in night time soon. Let's go for the two red and a white, shall we?
Right, let's see if we can get a bite and get a fish straight away, shall we? So I ain't fed an area yet, I've just chucked out a couple of handful of maggots really. So I think I will feed an area in a sec, but I just want to see what I can get without feeding. Settling. Oh, straight under. Let's have a little go just close in for a second, just see if we'll stand there as well. So there's definitely got some fish out there, which is great. The people that set up on the end there only fished for about 15 minutes. I think they had a roach or something, but... Not really a lot of gears, is it? <laughs> Ain't gonna catch much in that amount of time. Unless they move somewhere else, but I can't see them. No, the bites are not quite close in, but then that's not where the maggots went, so... Let's get back out there again. See if we can get them straight away again. Yes, yeah, so they ain't even settled. Just literally bites before it even settled out there. So the maggots on the bottom are obviously doing the job. What are they? Yep, yeah, fish on, fish on. It's nothing big, but. The fish, and that's all that matter. <laughs> that's what we come here to get. What have we got? Little stripey. Oh, took out while we're down. Let's get the old discorder out. Hopefully, we'll just be able to turn that and get that out nicely. Never happens when you actually say it. Nearly. Come on, me. Can see the hook, but it's not coming out. Or is it? Maybe it is. <laughs> there it is. Wee, fish is going mental. I shan't bring it over the camera, but it's just a little stripey get it back so we can get bites pretty quick float's gone in like I said again so what we'll do in a minute is put some ground bait out all right so I'm gonna have a couple more casts without putting any bait out there then I think that's time to Put a couple of balls out there and see if we can find some of the bigger fish. We're getting bites, like I say, straight away. But we didn't have anything massive yet. Now I'd like to find some bream. Four, five, six pound would be quite nice. I won't be too greedy, but. A bit close this time, I think, but we'll give it a go. I don't know, it's not too bad. The wind is trying to die down, which is exactly what I was hoping was going to happen. Now we've just got to keep enticing the fish to our fed area, like so. Oh. <laughs> really? Some of these bites are just straight under. But I must have gummy bear hooks on for them. <laughs> no, it's just how it goes sometimes, isn't it? By the way, I'm using a brown and wheel reel. It's an STE 43. It's a match fishing reel. I've got a bite already. I'm trying to get a chance to get to tell you what's what. 
fish on, or fish off. <laughs> and I've got a Drenon rod. Drenon float rod. So I'm getting bites really, really quickly, but do I need to feed it, feed off some of these smaller stuff? And see if I can get some bream in down there. A lot of small fish just down in front of me, topping, but they are very small, little rud and stuff. Got some geese, geese and stuff flying about above me. Oh, fish on. Tiny little oh, fish off, that's why we're not getting this. The little rud by of it. Tiny, tiny little rud. Which we're not really after, are we? But we'll take what we can catch. We expect the rud and stuff to slow down and go off a bit once that gets dark anyway. What have we got this time? It's fighting back. And up it comes. What do we got? We have... A rod. Not going to come to the camera with that because it's not not massive, but it's not tiny. We're getting a few fish, but we want to try and get them to be a bit bigger. So we'll keep going. I'm not complaining. I mean, a bite every single cast is absolutely brilliant. Exactly what I'm after. But hopefully, as it gets dark, we'll turn them into some bigger fish. So I think I need a a couple of balls of grand bay out there just to get things a better bait down there, you know, to get things going, sort of thing. For the bigger fish, we can get a chance in a little while. I'll set up the old feeder rod, and we'll put that even further out into the middle, and put it on a worm or something like that, and just leave it sitting down there. See what that produces. Hopefully, that will produce a, you know, some nice sized ropes or some bream or big perch, something like that. Let's still have a few more casts with this for now. Willie can still see me in the daylight. I keep hearing stuff behind me, but I think it's just like deers and stuff in the bushes. Some funny old patterns up in the sky tonight. <laughs> Didn't really get to see the sunset. It weren't near me tonight. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> so I'm getting played with the little fish, I reckon, because I should be connected to a few more of these, I would have thought. That one went a bit close, but we'll try it. It's not far off the bait spot, you never know. Just slightly this side of it. God, God, <laughs> bites are unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. They're like, did, did, and off they go. It's almost like someone's been here and baited up a spot for me, but this isn't really a spot that many people come to, to be honest. They fish the other side, but not over this side so much, which is why I wanted to try it. Because if you imagine all the stuff that goes on over the other side there, you'd think the fish would get pushed over here, wouldn't you? There's people walking their dogs, there's boats in and out all the time. <laughs> this is unreal. Right. One maggot left on there, we'll see if we can get one on a single, shall we? What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it down. Oh, nicely. And I'm going to ball up a bit of this and see if we can get some bream on the bottom. Go too crazy, we'll go. I think we'll go four balls to start with. I've got a bite, floats going mental, but I 
Let's see what this does. Is that going to feed off the little ones? Should do. God, look what it does to your hands. <laughs> Yummy. Smell nice. Really strong smell of manila and molasses. <laughs> Which is not terrible. You can think of a lot worse. I'm not really happy with the amount of maggots that are in there. I'm going to put a few more in there. A bit more feed bait in there. Because I forgot to bring me um, hemp and sweet corn. So I haven't really got too much feed bait. We're flying under. Oh, we're going to get it. I wonder if switching over to a worm will make any difference to what we pick up. There we go. I find it quite strange not having no sweet corn with me or hemp because that's my, my go-to baits but I'm sure we should do okay on what I've got with me so we'll go for a sort of medium sized worm don't know if you can see that but I'll try and zoom in on the edit and that's the effect Picks up a bream or a perch. Wind seems to be dying down, which is great. This is exactly what I was expecting to happen. Let's see if we get a bite as quick now. Hasn't gone straight under like it normally does. Got a maggot on, so it's fishing slightly different. All the lights and stuff are coming on in the safe now. She's over on the other side of the river. This is the River Ant, if anyone's interested. We seem to be cruising well to the left. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what was going on there. We might have had a fish on the end of the just on the end of the worm, you know, just sort of playing with it. This is actually be a good little spot to put the the rod if it'll sit in there. Sure, what if I put it on the edge of the chair as well? Right. You'd think the worm would pick up a bigger fish, wouldn't you? Or a better fish. Is there anything down there? bit annoyed I left the other baits and I had casters, sweet corn, hemp, and I left them all at home. Right, I'll be there for another session. Oh, here we go. Yep, fish on. What have we got? Fish! Oh! We had a decent perch. <laughs> How annoying is that? So we don't mind waiting for a minute or so for a bigger fish instead of just getting a bite straight away on the maggots.
little bit quieter on this car so far. I'm slightly closer in this time now, I think. I don't need to be further out. We're fishing at about five foot, I would say. There's lots of little fish close in, just topping tiny little things. Tons of swans and stuff gone down there, across there over to the slip. I think I've got a bite. Going to the left again, so there must be some sort of undercurrent or something going on down there. Over there, it's just little fish grabbing hold of the worm and dragging it along. The dark grass getting there's a lot more fish topping. I don't know if there's a few pike along these edges or perch chasing fish. ended up right over there so I don't know what's going on there. We've still got a worm, yeah we've still got a worm. Right. I might have to start sinking my line a bit more. Let's try that and see if it makes any difference. So we need to stay out there really. So we'll end up down here in the edge of the bank. Crack me starlight now so you can well in the dark you better see it glowing up. I can already see it now, but I'll, I'll show you in a little while. Just gotta hope that feed I put down there now is gonna bring in some bigger fish. Cool, the amount of fish jumping. <laughs> Absolutely load them. It's definitely a lot slower on bites on the worm, but I would say if you wait out on the worm like this, you'll probably get a bigger fish like you saw a minute ago when I hooked into that nice perch. hear lots of people talking but I can't see them. <laughs> They're on their boats over that way. Definitely not getting the speedy boats like we were on the maggots. Show you around the stafe and stuff once it's lit up to give you a sort of pan view. Everything is all coming on. Everyone's all moored up for the evening and going off for dinner and stuff. I'm very surprised this worm ain't going very quickly. Oh, so that I just had a nice big lift bite. Lift weight is when the float goes up instead of down, but you strike them sometimes, especially if the float comes right up and lays over, you still strike. It just means that they picked up the bait off the bottom and start swimming upwards with it. God, I can't get over all these fish topping. <laughs> They're not doing it to the left, but down to the right. God. Oh. 
starting to light up now. So, not a bad start. Didn't been here too long and had five, six fish already. Pretty good. I'll have to start putting the headlamp on and some lights and stuff on soon. But hopefully we'll be able to get some bream down into the swim. Or whatever we can get down there feeding. Some nice roach would be good as well. And hopefully I'll be able to bring you a few fish to camera. That's the plan anyway. Never tried it in the dark down here so the whole point of this session is to fish in the dark for a fair few hours. You know me, I'll do a 6-8 hour session quite easily. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And I think I'm going to switch back from this worm, go back onto maggots and see what's down there. So I'll just, wee! <laughs> Doing me normal. Just had this little thing. I'm not sure what it is, not a gudgeon. It's not a perch. I think it's a rough, isn't it? I think it's what you call a rough. Cool little fish. Alright, let's get him back. Well, it's got dark now, as you can see. Doesn't look that dark on the camera, but it is pitch black. Still getting a few bites, but nothing too amazing. Just small rod and tiny perch at the moment. Put some more ground bait out. And I'm just trying to attract in some of the bigger fish. Really want some roach and bream. But all I can keep doing is keep feeding the swim. And hoping to attract in some of the bigger fish. Getting a lot of activity around the swim is obviously perch and pike because it keeps splashing out of the water taking the smaller fish which seems to be quite a common thing on this river and on this stafe so I reckon there's a fair few decent perch and pike in here which we'll probably ever go for in the winter because the amount of um, small fish in here you don't really need they don't really need to feed, they've got plenty to feed on, so whether we can catch them or not is a different thing, but... Got an owl to my right up in the tree. And as you can see, the whole stafe is sort of lit up, so people can walk about and get back to their boats and stuff like that. No bite on this cast. Back on double maggot at the moment. Been throwing a few maggots out and say a bit of ground bait down. Just going to keep feeding the same spot and hopefully at some point the bigger fish will move in. That's the plan, so we'll keep going. We've got plenty of time yet. We've only been going an hour or so. So we ain't doing too bad. We've had over 10 fish. So I'll get back to it and see if I can get some of these bigger ones going.
Oh, well, don't know what's going on. Since it's got dark, it's pretty much haven't had a bite. Floating, getting touched. Trying all different spots. I've gone a bit deeper and gone out a bit further. Keep putting maggots and ground bait and stuff out, but don't seem to be making a lot of difference. Moon's come over there to move right. You've probably seen in a few of the photos. Whole place is, as I say, pitch black. Put lots of lights on the boats and all around the stafe and stuff like that over the other side of the river. But yeah, don't really know what to do. I'm going to have to keep trying different stuff. I think I might even set up the old feeder rod. See if we can get anything out on the bottom right out in the middle. Because the float doesn't seem to be working at the moment. It's just sitting there doing nothing. <laughs> so we'll keep plodding along. And hopefully I'll have some fish to show you. I have had a few more fish earlier on. But they were only little rudd and perch. And then the rough that you saw. So I think I've had around 12, 13 fish now. So not too bad, but I would have thought I would have got a few bream and stuff as soon as it got dark. But we'll keep trying, we'll keep baiting out there. And see what we can do. Well, still nothing happening, but getting quite chilly to be honest because I'm not moving around much, you know, sort of casting out and catching fish and here, there and everywhere. So the old toes are quite cold, my hands are cold. And you can probably see temperatures are not very high. I'm used to obviously having a lot more fish and a lot more things going on, which normally keeps me warm. I did forget to put the old thermal socks on, which is a bit of a pain, but I don't know what's going on with the fishing. It just seems like as soon as it hit pitch black, it just that was it. Bang! Like a switch went off. You get the opposite when you go sea fishing, don't you? As soon as it get dark, that's it. Bang! Start going to bites. But I know not all rivers and stuff are like this. There's other parts of the broads that I fish that do really well at night, like let's think Loddon Key, somewhere like that. All the big bream seem to come in at night. Decent roach. Perch. You know, all sorts of things, which you've probably seen in my other videos. If you went and put a couple up the top here. I've done like a little quest series of 1 to 4. We may do a part 5 of that. Um, you know, just fishing out there on the feeder and the float. Just cannot believe but the bites are just not there. Normally, you know, a few balls of ground bait, some feed out there. You can get a few fish moving around and get a few bites, but float's not even doing nothing. It's moving, they're getting the odd little knock, which is just little teens fish swimming into it, but certainly ain't no bites. Can't see anyone else fishing, but it'd be pretty hard to see from here. Feels like it's the middle of the night, but it's not actually that late yet. I think it's around half seven, something like that. So we've got plenty of time yet. I'm expecting to, you know, stay until at least midnight, or you know, go through the night. Whatever I've got to do to try and get some bites. So I'll keep plugging away. I think I'm going to set up a feeder rod and see if we get any better action out there. Got a nice worm on and work it out in the middle. So, I'm going to set up a draining big feeder rod. Only takes light line, four to six pound. Oh, what? That little mouse that was in my bag has had to go at me rod, look. Little bugger. My favourite rod for feeder fishing as well. Shame. It's not going to stop me from using it, obviously, but get the old tips out of the end. We'll go for the should we go for the light one or stiff one? Not really sure today. Mm. I think we'll go for the light one today. See how we get on with that. I think it's a case at the moment of just trying to catch anything. So I don't know what's going on here. I thought I'd at least get a few bites on the float. So I'll go ahead and set this up. I'm going to pair it up with a 
I can get it out. <laughs> Got my ankle around it. Stuff going everywhere here. A pair of one of these. Which is a Dren 7 Series reel. If you don't know. Got a six pound line on there. And we'll get a feeder rigged up. And we'll just go with a sliding feeder. Nice basic setup, don't need nothing fancy. Don't agree with all these fancy setups for feeder fishing. I think you should just have a sliding feeder on. And that pretty much always catches me fish, if the fish are there. Right, so I'm going to get this all threaded through. And hope that this turns things around a bit. Certainly not what I was expecting. I was expecting, you know, quite a few bites on the old float, but it's literally just sitting there. The light's blinding me a little bit to see what I'm doing. I've got lights in the safe blinding me a bit as well, but I can put up with that. I've got this. We'll just put it on light and point downwards. That gives me enough to see what I'm doing. Trying to run the line through the eyes on a rod like this. Bear with me, I'm just going to look for my scissors. So you can see I can't reach. Just put that down there in that bag. Alright, let's thread this line through. It's going to be fun in the dark. <laughs> So I'll do this and I'll bring you back in a bit and show you the feeder setup I'm going to do. Okay, so feeder's on. Just slide and rig like that. Up against the bead. We'll swivel underneath. One side covered up with the bead, the other side exposed so it can spin. Down to the wiggling line. Down to a 14 hook. So get some bait on that. I'm gonna chop a couple of worms up I think and put on there so all the juices are coming out and then we'll whack some ground bait in it and we'll whack it out and see if we get some better results on this. Okay so we've got a feeder out there. I've got two worms on there and I've chopped the sort of ends off the worms so the juices come out. They're wriggling like mad and we're right out in the middle of the river. So hopefully And change your battery in the light. Um, hopefully this will start producing a few fish. So I'll let you know how I get on after a couple of casts. Hopefully it we'll, won't take long and we'll start getting some bites. So while it's quiet, I'm gonna go for that well, <laughs> gonna have the old pepperami, got some Lugazade, have a bit of that, and then the BLT. Bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Might as well snack up because the bites might go thick and fast later on. Haven't seen anything on the feeder rod yet. It only takes one bite to get one nice big fish there. Did have a bite on the float a minute ago though. And bait went, but nothing there. So something took it because I had four maggots on it. <laughs> So, I'm going to nibble these up, move around a little bit, hopefully and get a bit warmer. You'll absolutely freezing now. And hopefully I'll have a fish to show you soon, you know, pretty soon. <laughs> trying really hard, can't try any harder than what I am, apart from putting out some more feeder rods. <laughs> so I'll just keep watching these. Still plenty going on around the state, there's loads of people in and out in their cars, I'll spin around and show you.
So I've got the float down to the right of me at the moment. Got a worm on there and I threw a bunch of maggots out there. Just seeing if there's anything down the edge here. Maybe some perch or something like that. The old feeder rod don't seem to be doing a lot. So over here, I can't miss a bite on it because I've got it on the alarm so don't seem to be doing too much. Haven't even had a tap on it yet. See what colour the grass and that is, how damp everything is. That's why I'm cold. There's not much I can do about that, just got to carry on. Yeah, quite disappointed so far. Owls and foxes and all sorts behind me. <laughs> but we'll keep persevering and hopefully we'll have a fish fairly soon. Oh, geez, I'm absolutely shaking. It's freezing. It's got like a horrible mist going across on us. Literally making me shiver. <laughs> it's not good. Well, it's been, what, about 2 hours 15 minutes now. And I've had one bite on the float, which sort of went, did, did, and slid away. Which I reckon was a bream, but can't seem to get any more. And the old feeder rod, well just doing nothing whatsoever. I'm now about to recast that. I'm going to try maggots on it this time. I've got a bunch of worms on it at the moment. But it's not looking too good at the moment. I would have been happy if I'd have just got, you know, a couple of bream. But can't seem to get anything now. <laughs> I'm trying to close in down here and nothing's happening. So let's move this feeder around a few times and See if that produced anything. Might have to get in the car in a minute and get the old heaters going to warm back up. <laughs> it's not good. We just thought I'd update you, let you know what's happening. It's coming up for sort of nine o'clock now. I was going to give it till, I don't know, two, three o'clock, but the way it's going at the moment, that's not really worthwhile. I might as well go home, get some sleep, and reassess the situation from there and try again in the daylight or try somewhere else. Obviously got work in between that as well so yeah I'll see what I can sort out. <laughs> Just thought I'd update you, let you know what's going on and yeah no fish at the moment. So I brought the old feeder rod back in, filled it back up with ground bait, got maggots all coming flying out the ground bait as you can see. Got a bunch of maggots on the end. Hopefully this cast is going to produce something. <laughs> wow, that's how cold it is. Oh, oh, oh. The mat has actually froze. Not good. Oh. I wasn't expecting that tonight. <laughs> There's a owl up in the tree up here has been making all sorts of noises as you can probably see on the trees there it's still quite windy Well, finally getting a couple of bites. Just lost a roach just in front of the net. So I'm getting a couple of bites on the float now. But I had one beep on the feeder, but it could have just been a line bite. But yeah, I'm absolutely shaking this. Absolutely freezing. <laughs> I ain't got none of my thermal socks on. I ain't got nothing on, you know, my undersuit stuff on that I normally put on. I've literally just got a pair of bottoms and a tracksuit top. It was normally I'll have you know, a big jumper and thermal socks, wellies on and I'd have you know, hot chocolate and stuff like that for this sort of weather. <sighs> so bad it is that it must be pretty cold. Uh, I'm 
doing my real best trying to get you another fish. But I've been sitting here hours now without actually having a fish in my hands. I've lost two. But it's really, really hard work. Nothing like what I was expecting. I thought I'd be able to feed the swim up and once it got dark and it settled down a bit, you know, get a few fish in. But it's done completely the opposite really. So as soon as it got dark, I just decided nothing was gonna happen. It just seems to be when you feed ground bait in there. Just doesn't seem to pull in the fish like you expect it to. It almost puts them off a bit. Don't know, it's a strange one. Obviously I'm still learning because I'm sort of new to fishing up this way. I only moved up here three months ago. Still got quite a lot to learn, but I've been down here, what, three, four times now. And just don't seem to be able to find the bigger bream. Had some good fish, had some nice roach, had some nice perch. But your normal stuff, what you'd expect. Like I said before, if I went to Loddon Key at this, you know, this time of night, I'd be bringing in nice roach and nice bream. But this place just don't seem to be doing it. Can't really see I'm doing anything wrong, because obviously I've got worms, maggots, got all the ground baits, got all the stuff in it, got molasses in there, got some vanilla in there. What more could a bream want? <laughs> Shame we didn't have a casters and stuff with me, but, and some sweet corn, but... I still should be getting some bites, shouldn't I, really? So, I'll keep plodding along. I might have to get in the car and warm up, but... I ain't done yet. I'm going to try and get another fish. I think I've got a bite now. Yep, I have. It'd be nice to get one while I'm talking to you. Fish on! It's only small, but it's on. <laughs> what have we got? It is a little rod. That took a lot. No, it's a little bream actually. Hopefully, his mum and dad is in there as well. Then. Tiny little bream. <laughs> Get it. Small bream. But at least I've got to show you another fish. <laughs> Hopefully there's some other brain moving down there now and they're, they're going to be a lot bigger than that. So I've had a few casts, uh, a few bites in a row now. So fingers crossed. I've got a few fish starting to move in down there. So I'm going to wipe my hands up. I'm going to have a couple more casts and hopefully I'll show you some more fish. Yeah, fish on on the feeder rod. Not sure what it is yet. Things are slowly starting to pick up, hopefully. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> that was a bream. <laughs> Lost it just down in front of me. Oh, at least I've got a bite on the old feeder. Whew, so things are looking a bit more promising. Getting bites on the float. Feeder rod just went round and had a nice bream on the end of it. Weren't massive, probably, I don't know, about three pound. Weren't, yeah, what we were looking for, but they've been the biggest fish of the night so far. So, hopefully, things are going to change a little bit. You'll probably hear I've got the car running in the background, I'm going to have to get in there and warm up in a minute. So I'm literally shaking. Then everything is covered in ice, as you saw. It's pretty cold. But, 10 minutes in the car, while watching the feeder rod. Should get me going again. Putting a red, a white, and a bronze on the feeder hook. So, we're nice and filled up by gat again. Been birds with maggot. Oh, look at the rubber You can see how cold it is. Right, so I'm going to whip this out. And let's hope we start getting a few bites. 
Whew, looks like the old perseverance is starting to pay off. It's nothing massive, don't get me wrong, but little rud. It is a little rud as well, isn't it? But <laughs> at least we're starting to see a few fish now. Whew, let's hope the old feeder rods start going around again. And this that one was on the float. Let's hope we can get a few more fish and start building up a swim now. I haven't put any bait out for a good while now, so I'm gonna just leave it. Maybe I overfed the swim and that's why I won't get bites, not sure. But it's starting to happen, so I'll have a few more casts and hope I'll be back with a fish soon. Bite on the feeder rod. Hope it'll pull it right around. I thumbed it pretty well just now. Things are definitely starting to pick up, which is good. Don't know why it was so slack for quite a few hours. <sighs> Seriously cold there. I've had my car running probably 15 minutes now, so I'll be getting in there in a minute. I'm getting bites on the float and the feeder now, so... Hopefully it's not going to be too long before we hit into something quite decent. It's a bit of luck anyway. Strange how it goes, this, that was thumping around just now. I should have struck it really, but I took the time to put the camera on so I could show you. And I probably missed the bite. So annoying when it happened like that. <laughs> Obviously, I can't keep the camera running the whole session, even with all the batteries and stuff I've got. The mics last about seven and a half hours, and then I have to recharge for a while. Oh, there's definitely something there. Is it going to go flying around? Come on. We want to bring. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Hit it hard. Got to land one of these decent fish we've hooked, and we? we've had a couple of decent fish on now. We're Lost just before the net, don't know why. Must be just catching them on the edge of the mouth or something. On the edge of the lip. keep an eye on this and hope we'll be back with a fish on pretty quick. Well, still getting some little fish, another little rud. <laughs> They're not very big but at least I'm getting some bites and getting some fish. Why am I losing the ones down in front of me in front of the net? That's the annoying thing. Could have a nice bream. Could have a nice perch now, can we? Yeah. We're doing okay, starting to pick up again. I'm never about to jump in the car, just get warmed up a little bit, and then I'll be hitting these rods again. Last quarter ten. Corner of this is six degrees. It was four when I got in a minute ago. Oh, well, I've had to go and sit in the car for a little while. Feet like ice. <laughs> Hands are numb. Everything's just freezing up out there. So, just thought I'd try and defrost for 10 minutes. The car's been running, I don't know, 20 minutes. It's hardly warm, to be honest. It's 
not much different near to what it is out there. But we'll give it 10 minutes, maybe 15. Should get some more flag into me. And I'm still watching the feeder rod I've got right next to me here. I'm just doing to see if I go around or not. So, oh, I could have gone up ages ago, but you know me, I won't do that. I've got to keep going, keep pushing along. And hopefully, we are going to pay off of a decent sized fish. We nearly had one just now, just in front of the bloody net. I had a half decent bream, which would have, you know, would have been a payoff for the night. Much rather, obviously, get a seven, eight, nine pounder, but they don't seem to be about at the moment. So, I'm going to have a little warm up. I'll keep an eye on this feeder rod, and then I'll get back out there again. We'll do a few more hours and see what else we can get. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. I can't believe it's this cold. A couple of nights ago it was like 17, 18 that night. <laughs> big, big difference. Well, we've never done this before. The old feeder rod went flying around. And there's a bream. Never shoot a bream in the car before. <laughs> not very big, obviously, but not tiny either. Better than not getting one. Right, I'm going to get it back and see if we can get a bigger one. Whoa, that was something different. <laughs> Showing a fish in the car. Whew. I'm going to give it another five minutes and I'm going to get back out there again. Well, it's hard to see the feeder rod anyway. And that just went bang bang and went slow. Just trying to do it in the way it was. Just need to find some bigger ones there. I'm getting bites. I'm about every 10 15 minutes or so at the moment. So not too bad. I can get the odd bites still on the float rod as well. I can't seem to find anything decent size on the float rod. So, just get yourself warmed up just a little bit more. And then I'll go and brave it again for a few more hours. Float rod's back out. Little rider coming back in. <laughs> and where all the big fish are. But the little fish seem to be down there again. So we'll carry on a bit. It's coming up for 11 o'clock now. Did have a nice really clunk and bite on the feeder rod a minute ago, but that stopped for some reason. So I'm going to recast that in a sec. Just put some maggots on this one. And let's see if we can... Keep trying to get this big fish. So what we got on there, a couple of white and a red. Let's get it back out. See what's down there waiting for us. So, having a rail on the feeder rod. Not expecting anything to be on there. No. Get the old hooks all chewed up on the maggots let's get some feedback in there and there are the maggots and hopefully a bit of luck this one will be the big one I'm going to go for two white a bronze And a red, I think. Nice bunch on there. Like so. Even they're not that wriggly, are they? Because of the cold. <laughs> right. Oh. <laughs> Me cloths. 
starting to freeze up. Not good. Right, I'm going to get this one back out. Let's see what we can get. Starting to find a couple now. Float rod went straight away. Feeder rod's back out. Just a small bream. But I'll take these over not getting nothing. <laughs> all right, whip that back. I'm troubled these are all covered in slime. I've only got my little cloth with me. <laughs> but it's all part of the fun. All right, I'm going to rebait it get back out there. It's starting to happen a little bit now. Let's hope some bigger ones move in as well. Well, I seem to be getting bites on float and on the ledger rod at the moment, so that's good. Oh, birds just give me a heart attack. <laughs> Chucked a couple of balls of ground bait out in front of me, where the float is, and that went quiet again for a little while. But then, started to pick up again. Same over here on the feeder. Just trying it in different places out there in the middle and just sort of working my way along the bank further along, closer in, you know, different places and seem to be getting a fair few bites, so all good. It's sitting around midnight now, so I'll give it a good old go. And I ain't done yet, so let's keep going. And see if we can get a bigger fish. Wind seemed to have calmed down a little bit now. The water's calm, but there's obviously wind going across the trees above me and that. There's definitely a nasty sort of foggy mist going across, which is very cold. It's literally making me shiver. And everything is basically covered in ice, as you saw. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to keep watching these. Let's see if we can't get another fish.
Well, the feeder rods seem to be doing the business at the moment. I've got it out to the right of me now, right out into the middle of sort of open water. And I'm getting a bite every cast within five minutes. So pretty good. That's what I've had the last couple of fish on it you've seen. And the float rod was, well, it's completely dead. Nothing's happening whatsoever. It's getting seriously cold now. My whole body is, well, <laughs> like ice. So I think I better get my winter gear out and get it all ready when I do the next trip. Not so bad when you're doing the old sea fishing because you're up and down the beach casting out, reeling in, walking up and down near yeah, stone banks. Keeps you warmer, but when you're sitting here static like this, and even when you do get up and sort of reel in, that's not nothing. It's hard work or anything like that. That's fairly cold. <laughs> It's mainly my fingers and toes. Oh, got a bite on the old feeder rod. So been down there a couple of minutes. Got a double worm on there at the moment. Hopefully something decent's gonna take it. Trouble when you put the bigger worms on, if there are big fish out there, they just sort of nip at the end of the worm. Don't actually tell the hook. So it's the quiet round here now. <laughs> Haven't seen anyone walking about or nothing. Not that they should be really at sort of in the middle of the night, you know, but I thought I'd hear a few people on their boats and stuff. Didn't hear anyone come back drunk or anything like that. I sure thought I would on a Friday night. I'm glad I stuck a session out there. Even though I'm freezing cold. At least I've had a few fish. I think we're on 26 now. So it's not too bad. None of them have been like big clunkers, but we caught fish and that's, yeah, it's better than sitting here and not catching any fish. So I won't expect them to sit here tonight and be freezing cold. I only brought my suit just in case really, sort of thing, in case it rained and that. But no, I certainly needed that. <laughs> Still windy as well, and the wind sort of chills through you as well, and you know, gives you more of a chill. The moon's gone round behind us now, so it's not really lighting up much. Yeah, actual sure, water ain't got much of a ripple on it, it's fairly calm. You can probably hear the trees rustling in the way there and the wind up in the air. Wait, let's get one while we're on, shall we? I'm gonna hold this on just to make sure. Just wait for it to go again. Not pulling back. <laughs> Don't want to move it if that's not going to take it. Put it back down just for a minute. See if it goes again. Hopefully, you might see it go. 
So we'll set you up so you can see the tip. There it goes. Something there might just be a little fish there. Because it's not like bending right around and taking off with it. It's just knocking it like that. I reckon we've got a small rudder or small bream on there. Nice to get the old bite live on the camera like that. What do we do? Do we strike it? Or do we wait for a more vicious bite? There's definitely someone there, isn't there? That's how peaceful it is if I don't say anything, it's just literally quiet as anything, no noise whatsoever, all you can hear is a slight rustle of the trees, otherwise nothing. Send lots of little mice keep coming out and running along the bank. Come on, fishy, what are you doing? Yes, that's just tapping it. Wee! I'd say that's probably on. Let's find out. Yeah, something's there. Alright, let's bring it in. See what we got. It's not nothing big. But I knew there was something on. Just tap, 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 tap. What we got then? Rod, roach, bream. Could be a poach, I suppose, but it's fighting back. <laughs> it's not huge, I don't think, but it's giving a good account of itself. And up it comes. What is it? It's another one of them weird little things that I think are, are rough. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I think that's what they're called. I'll spin you around. So yeah, it's another one of them. What are they actually? Is that a rough or is that a bleak or is I'm not actually sure to be honest. Quite smart fin. Feel like a perch really. Don't want to keep it up for us though. It's obviously happy to be caught. That little thing took two big worms. <laughs> and done the old durdum 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 we <laughs> got some nice colours on it but it's not really showing up on the, the camera too well you sort of see them don't you but yeah right let's get it back and see what else is out there that took the hook right in that time it was fun to get out but got it out Whew, time's ticking away now it's getting really late I keep saying to myself I'm going to have one more cast. It's been another two hours since then. <laughs> Alright, let's get some... Wait, where's it gone? Let's get some bait back on this feeder. Put it back out where we had it, roughly. Surprised that the bream are not taking the worms. I had one bream on worm, but 
that little heat sinner I got there first that time. So I'll put this on and then I'll show you what we're doing. I'm going to put a worm on and I'm going to go for a red maggot and then a white maggot. Don't know why the colour makes a difference to fish because surely they're just the same maggots, just dyed different colours. That's what we're working with. So we'll get that out there. And see what happens this cast. Oh, wow, <laughs> that weren't good. Shame I couldn't show you that on camera. It's coming in with a half decent bream and a uh, big old pike took it. Probably, I don't know, eight, ten pound. Just went smash. Took it, snapped me up. Enough I went with it. So that probably didn't make it, but that weren't good. So I've set up again and I'm now going to put the feeder rod back out again. It's getting really late now, but you know me, just carry on till I've had enough. The missus and me boy just come over just to make sure I went stuck in the old holes around the back there on the way in and out. <laughs> so I'm gonna have one last cast while I pack all the gear up and I'm gonna call it a night. It's getting towards two o'clock. So I'll give it a good old session. Been here since five. I think it's before then actually, half four. So we'll give it a good old go. Better fair food fish, aren't we? Probably had a good um, just over 30 fish, I would say. But only a handful of them have been half decent size. Most of them have been fairly small. But you got to be in it to win it. We've had some fish. I'm happy with that. Still got a fair bit of bait in that left over, so I'll do another session fairly soon, I think, as well. And that'll be my nighttime session done. I put out a poll during the week and said to everyone, do you want me to go night fishing or day fishing? And that was pretty much 50-50. They wanted both. So this is the night one. And there'll be a day one coming up soon. Oh, so I'm back in the car. Now doing a dodgy bit of trying to get her through the bumps and the holes and the mud and all that. And reverse back to where I started. Just got to drive around the back now. So, start wandering out. Not too bad session. We had a fair few fish anyway, so I can't complain. That's probably the missus now in front of me. So 
So I'd just like to say thanks to all the new members and everyone who's supporting the channel. Thanks to the new subscribers. We've had quite a few new subscribers lately. Welcome to the channel. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Anyone who hasn't subscribed or hit the big thumbs up, please do. And hopefully I'll be out fairly soon. I've still got a load of bait left, so we'll be out again quite soon. And I'll also be hitting the beaches as soon as that stormy weather goes. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon in the next video.